It's a sweet tooth's paradise at the Gale Centre today where thousands of people have come out for the Great Canadian Butter Tart Tours stop here in Niagara Falls. Despite concerns from the organizers over the attendance at their first ever Niagara event for this tour, I say consider the crowds behind me and they have nothing to worry about. Lose my breath every time she looks at me from across the room. Christine, the Gale Center is absolutely packed already with more people coming in. Were you expecting this turnout? Is this standard for this type of event? Um, well, we really weren't sure what was going to happen with um, Niagara Falls, to be honest with you, when we brought the tour here. Um, we were expecting a pretty good turnout, but we were just dipping our toes into this area. So um, this is typical for our butter tart events. Um, and it looks like it might even be busier than our regular ones, so go Niagara. <laughs> What is it about the butter tart of the butter tart festival that kind of brings all these people together that's so popular? So I'm really not sure other than the fact that it's um, Canada's treats. Uh, so because it can be so unique, uh, you know, so many different flavors between the the bacon right through to the maple to the vodka to the rum, just to your plain and simple traditional. Um, I know that the response for this event in particular uh, was a lot of Americans wanting to know what a butter tart is because they don't know anything about it. So I know that a lot of the draw coming in today is to find out what exactly is a butter tart. So hopefully these guys can um, set them straight on it. Vasco, looks like we got a good variety of tarts going on here. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're looking at? Okay, today uh, I present here as the famous Portuguese castor tarts, apple butter crumble, the raisins butter tarts, hazelnut truffle, uh, chocolate pecan, pecan, cranberry pecan, and the passion fruit. And what makes your tarts, what separates it from everyone else's? Why are they the best here? Homemade, passion and love. <laughs> I like that. Do you got a secret recipe uh, hidden somewhere in these tarts that you want to tell us about? <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Vasco. Hey, no problem. Thank you. This being the first event for this tour in Niagara Falls, are you surprised by just how many people have turned out today? Yeah, it's it's really surprising. It's just packed going up and down the aisles, and uh, yeah, we weren't sure when we were setting up because it, you know, we thought we were out in the middle of nowhere, but then. All these people showed up. <laughs> now, just between us and the viewers at home, is there any sort of secret recipe going on here that you'd care to hip us to? <laughs> well, I do use magic baking powder. <laughs> oh, magic baking powder, there you go. <laughs> you never knew who you're going to meet at the Butter Tart Festival. I think I see uh, source reporter Bob Romeo over there. How's it going, Bob? <laughs> Bob, what brings you out to the Butter Tart Festival today? Well, I think all we really have to say is butter tarts. It's uh, it's great. There's uh, you can get anything here. Uh, they've got whiskey butter tarts. They've got bacon butter tarts. Butter tarts I never thought would exist. So uh, and it's the first annual, I guess. So it's uh, it's cool to be here today. What more could you ask for, right? Yeah, you can't ask for more. And I mean, we're we don't have the sun over our head. It's a nice day, but it's just nice to here in the arena to walk around and and check it out. Lorraine, could you tell us a little bit about uh, what you've brought here today to the festival? Uh, yes, I brought some butter tarts. I brought uh, plain pecan and raisin today, yeah. Now, it being the first annual uh, this year, are you surprised at the uh, turnout so far, far with more people coming in? Um, I think it's great for Niagara that they made one down here. I did the one in Paris last year and the turnout was excellent. So it's nice to have something in the region that, uh, that promotes uh, local bakers and butter tarts, it's great. Now, do you, do you by chance have a secret recipe that you can hip us to when it comes to butter tarts? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's my secret. <laughs> uh, Trisha, tell us a little bit about what you have here. You have you specialize in a, a shortbread-based butter tart. Can you tell us about it? That's right. The name of my company is Eat My Shortbread. So everything I do either has shortbread in it, on it, around it. That's what I base all my products on. So we make these in a nut-free commercial kitchen in Oshawa. They have a shortbread crust as opposed to a pastry. So you're getting the rich flavor of a buttery shortbread with a beautiful silky butter tart filling. Lemon curd, original French truffle. That sounds amazing. How has the uh, turnout been today? Is it is actually astounding. This is our first year, obviously, um, and we're just completely impressed. It's amazing. People are loving our products, and I think everyone's excited. It's beautiful. They just kind of want to come in and try everything. Yeah, it's awesome. 
Now, between the two of us and the viewers at home, is there any sort of secret recipe that you can hip us to in these butter tarts? There's a secret recipe. That's all I can say. <laughs> So you'd be really, really surprised. A lot of these vendors that come in today um, and like follow us around to all the tours have grandma's recipe, but they've kept grandma's recipe and they've tweaked it to make it more their own, I guess you could say. So um, as an example, we have a vendor out there that it's, you know, tradition, tradition, tradition. They will never share what's in that recipe ever. Um, but now they've added um, Nutella to their recipes. They've added score to their recipes. Um, what else can I say? Oh, apple. Uh, pumpkin, so yeah, no, it, it just, they don't surprise me in any way. Every time I, I come out, I know they're gonna just do their best, you know. And in the wise words of Jim Carrey, that's the way the butter tart crumbles. If this year's attendance is any indicator, they might need a second arena come next year. From Niagara Falls, reporting for The Source, I'm Mitchell Glass.